I know this looks bad. I can fix it. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst movies of 2023 so far. I Actually, do I do. Very much so. Okay, cool. I love that. And four hours ago, you became a devout Muslim. For sure. For this list, we're looking at the most panned films that have been released so far in 2023, whether by critics or audience reception. We'll also be including films that may have premiered early but saw a wider release in 2023. Spoilers will be discussed, so this is your official warning. Are there any other movies from this year that you think deserve to be on the list? Feel free to let us know in the comments. Number 10. Hypnotic For some projects, it is possible to have too many ideas. Hypnotic has a lot going on. At its core, it's about a father desperately trying to reunite with his lost daughter, all while trying to stop a large bank heist. He's going for the bank. Don't walk into that bank, Mork. We don't know if that's the guy. Oh, and there's a secret council with the power to hypnotize people into doing their bidding. While the plot sounds interesting on paper, the end result wasn't as impressive. Hypnotics use them to make you see a version of the world that doesn't exist. Your behavior conforms with this hypnotic construct, so everything that you see and do feels perfectly normal. Some viewers were disappointed by the awkward dialogue and how the characters were constantly over-explaining what was happening. Additionally, the shorter runtime meant that a lot of aspects of the plot were rushed. That's not possible. I've never done anything like this before. I wouldn't know how. If things were a tad more subtle, then this movie could have been met with an entirely different reaction. Number 9. House Party If it isn't broken, why even try to fix it? The original 1990 version of House Party had unquestionable charm, causing it to be widely loved. Like many other movies from the 90s, House Party was recently remade with a 2020s twist. How about we throw the party here? Uh, that was a bad idea before, it's a terrible idea now. <laughs> While it's undeniable that the House Party itself was fun and extravagant, other areas of the plot were not. Fans of the original felt that the characters were not as relatable, the jokes weren't as funny, and that the celebrity appearances were too frequent. Well, I'm Maya. Yeah, I know who you are. <laughs> we know the cameos were a given considering it took place at LeBron James's house, but at a certain point it becomes too much. Overall, this had the potential to be a great homage to a classic, but ultimately fell flat. Oh, what? Not tripping, man. Number 8. Love Again Adding modern elements to movies can be smart, but can also easily backfire, particularly when it comes to tech. After the protagonist's husband dies, she copes by sending texts to his number, which she believes has been disconnected. I miss you so much. However, it's revealed that it's actually been reassigned to someone else, who decides to use the messages for a story he's writing and to win her heart. That is, that is so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but like she said, love makes fools of everyone. Besides the fact that this doesn't make sense technologically, if the number was disconnected, the messages wouldn't have been delivered, it's also just a creepy way of initiating the relationship. Well, I guess we're not strangers anymore. I guess not. In typical rom-com fashion, she's able to overlook this massive breach of privacy. But we can't help but feel that this method makes more sense for a horror film. Number 7. Fool's Paradise It's always disappointing to see genuinely funny people fall flat. Charlie Day is known for making people laugh on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, but when it came to Fool's Paradise, he didn't see the same result. Hey, bud. How you feeling? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. You were good. You were good. I felt the fear. The premise is interesting. A man with a speech disability replaced an actor in a film and was suddenly catapulted to fame. But the execution was lacking. Viewers and critics agreed that the film wasn't saying anything new about the entertainment industry, even though it wanted to. However, the cardinal sin of this movie is that the jokes hardly landed, which is essentially a death knell for any comedy. While Day's directorial debut may have been shaky, we still can't help but be hopeful for any future projects he may release. You and me are gonna do big things, pal. I can feel it. Number 6. Life Upside Down COVID impacted everything, from the economy to personal relationships. 
some studios decided to make films to reflect this period of time, which is how Life Upside Down came to be. I think you saved me. I mean, before we met, I was so depressed. The film is centered around three different couples and their relationships during the pandemic, and was filmed entirely over Zoom. I'm sorry, Arthur, I didn't mean to cut you off, but you're taking up a lot of space right now, and I'd like to hear from some of the other students in this class, so we can talk about your opinions later in depth. Unfortunately, the medium didn't translate very well over the video chatting site, leading the film to seem clunky upon viewing. Ultimately, this movie suffered from being released at the wrong time, as people were still reeling from the effects of the pandemic and didn't want to be reminded. You know what? I'm not in the mood. And newsflash, I'm not your toy. I know. Listen, Jerry Slush, I got a lot on my mind. I wish you'd cut me some slack. Bob Odenkirk at the peak of his popularity wasn't enough to save it. The movie was both a commercial and critical flop. Number 5. Children of the Corn Considering the scope of Stephen King's work, it's odd that Hollywood puts so much focus on children of the corn. Hey, Boyd. How long were you out in the corn? Not all night again, I hope. The original film is a cult classic and showcased how horrifying the story was. However, the subsequent sequels and remakes have not been as successful. The director attempted to differentiate this remake from the rest of the franchise by having the cult be run by a young girl instead of a young boy. There she is, the Red Queen. <laughs> you like the Red Queen. The Red Queen makes the world the way she wants it to be. While this was an interesting decision, it wasn't enough to hold the audience's excitement. Viewers also couldn't help but cringe at the poor special effects, especially when it came to the gore. Even with the lowered expectations caused by the previous films, people still left the theater disappointed and scare-free. Doesn't really matter anymore, Bo. It's over. Number 4. You People Social commentaries have the potential to have a ripple effect across society. Unfortunately, if movies in this genre are not executed well, then they end up coming across as tone-deaf, which is the case for You People. I don't think anybody should be put in a box ever. That's real. I agree with you. The movie focused less on the connection between the protagonists and more so on their families and their hang-ups towards the interracial relationship. Despite the movie's best attempts to tell a progressive story, it ended up coming across as insensitive and anti-Semitic. What are you? What's wrong with you? Can you just cool it on everything you were doing and saying in like complete totality? Most of the Jewish characters are caricatures, and there's even a moment where the Holocaust was downplayed. Beyond that, other characters lean into anti-Semitic conspiracies. While this movie had the potential to cement itself as a great commentary film, it unfortunately missed the mark. Please stop. What they got was confused, clearly. They are not confused. They are confused. You don't think this is confusion? Number 3. Ghosted After nearly a decade of dominating the superhero genre with his role as Captain America, Chris Evans decided to re-establish himself by appearing in an action-slash-romantic comedy called Ghosted. Believe that? No, I thought for sure you two were going to exchange numbers. What? Yes, I thought under all that stupid fighting you were flirting. Wait, we were flirting? Are you kidding me? The concept of the movie is interesting. Evans' character believes he's being ghosted by Sadie, only to learn that she is actually a CIA agent. But the writing was lacking, leading it to become a bit convoluted. I told you things I've never told anyone. It was all true. Not all of it! Even seasoned pros like Evans and Anna de Armas could only do so much with the script they were given. Despite the poor reviews, Ghosted still has one of the biggest movie debuts on Apple TV+, so we can only hope that Evans will be able to see better success as an actor in the future. Oh my god. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Number 2. Knights of the Zodiac Adaptations of popular anime are always a risk, especially considering how devoted many fans of the medium are. What if I told you Sienna here is the reincarnation of the goddess Athena? And you are destined to become one of her guardian knights. When it was announced that Knights of the Zodiac would be made into a live-action film, fans were cautiously optimistic. I didn't want to do this, but I won't let you hurt her. I know. That optimism quickly faded when the movie was released. Many felt that the writing wasn't up to par and that the CGI was overbearing, resulting in a loud mess. 
Above all else, it failed to capture what was so special about the original and made it into a generic action movie. Make it stop! Make it away. While fans figured that a 100% faithful adaptation was unlikely, they were at least hoping for a film to have passion behind it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable, or should we say dishonorable mentions. 65. This movie proved that dinosaurs in space don't mix at all. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. This lackluster film cemented many fans' growing Marvel fatigue. Cassie. What happened? Sign here. Oh, he knows. Shazam! Fury of the Gods. This sequel is missing the charm that DC fans loved about the original. And then everybody got superpowers, but now everyone's kind of like doing their own thing, and I'm the only one trying to keep everybody together. Okay, okay. Well, let's just process that. Marlowe. Many felt Liam Neeson was miscast in this neo-noir adaptation of the 2014 novel. You're very perceptive and sensitive, Mr. Marlowe. I imagine it gives you trouble. Spinning Gold. Neil Bogart had a much more exciting life than this biopic led us to believe. What are you going to do? Go door to door across the country selling your records yourselves? You'll never survive without us. No, we'll never survive with you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey When it was revealed that the works of A.A. A. Milne would officially be released to the public domain, people online couldn't help but theorize what new content would come out. That was how Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey came to be. Why would they do this? I don't know. This is not safe. Essentially, the film is about Winnie and Piglet enacting revenge against Christopher Robin for abandoning them as an adult. While the film could have been a clever satire of the lovable series, it ended up coming across as a generic slasher film. I would have never left, I swear, I swear. I, 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 we used to play together as friends. <laughs> Remember when we were young, the Pooh. The scariest aspect was how Winnie the Pooh looked, and even that felt more ridiculous than genuinely frightening. The movie left a sour taste in the mouths of those who loved the original characters, and took itself too seriously to appeal to anyone else. What was that? Did you see his face? That did not look human. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.